Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another box office predictions video for the weekend of course uh, today is Friday so I am a little bit late here usually I like to do the box office predictions either Wednesday or Thursday either of those days is a little bit better than doing it on Friday because while I don't know how much the movies did on Friday I do know how well the newer movies like the actually the new ones that came out did yesterday on Thursday so I do have a good idea so this time I'm gonna have a little bit extra help predicting uh, than usual usually I don't so um, that's the only difference about this one so I apologize this is up so late it's also gonna be a little bit sloppier because I also have to record a Samurai Jack reaction right after this so I need to I need to get to it so you know what uh, instead of like me doing all the edits and stuff which I actually do edit these uh, we're gonna do it live BAM look at that <laughs> I got numbers here but you might notice I got numbers here one to 11 wait hold on let me angle it there you go 11 why do i have one to 11 because i do believe one movie that is new this weekend will be number 11 so i might as well predict that one too considering it's so close to the top 10 anyway let's get to it you know what i think what i'm going to do for now on is when i do the box office predictions and the wrap-up videos i'm always going to start with number one i feel like number one makes more sense to start off with because i mean it's, you know it's number one baby <laughs> it's number one uh of course this weekend we have a quiet place opening uh blockers uh we have chop aquatic is that how you pronounce it quiddick the ted kennedy movie uh <clears throat> and then you have a new um is it a faith-based movie? Miracle Season? I think it's supposed to be faith-based, right? I'm not really too sure if it is. But uh, I've only seen the trailer once. I don't remember if it has anything to do with faith. But uh, it, sounds like, it sounds like a faith-based movie. Uh, it's, it's the one about volleyball. Uh, and then, of course, you have the second weekend of Ready Player One. Um, you have the third weekend of Pacific Rim, which... I guess sure you won't really matter. Uh, we still have holdovers like Black Panther and I Can Only Imagine. So we have quite a few stuff. And of course, we have Isle of Dogs, which is doing extremely well. So we're going to see how that shapes up. But anyway, let's get to it. Okay, well, my number one, I'm going to say it straight off the bat. And I think some people might disagree with my choice here. Not that they'll disagree with the choice. I'm pretty sure this is actually going to be what number one is. But I think some people are going to disagree how much I think it's going to make. Because uh, I also did a poll for this. And a lot of people said this movie wasn't going to make that much. Um, I think it's going to be a quiet place. No big surprise there. Um, I think it's going to make... This is this is the big controversy, I feel. Will be 38.5 mil in its first weekend now i know a lot of people will be like wait hold on really that much you have to remember there's not that many horror movies out now and movies like this ones that have either a a nice little gimmick or have great word of mouth or um i don't know have creepy trailers or stuff like that or even if it's just a horror movie where there's no other horror movies out they do extremely well i'm thinking like this movie's gonna do like annabelle creation money or even like conjuring 2 money uh which is like 38.5 million is like in between both of them. I think Conjuring 2 opened up to 40. And I think Annabelle opened up to 36, I think, or maybe 35. I, I don't remember. So not quite in the middle, but close enough. Uh, I think 38.5 uh, million is exactly what it's going to make. Uh, it might even go higher. I wouldn't be surprised if it cracks 40, but I'm going to be a little bit conservative um, with the overestimations, I guess, and say 38.5. It could be lower. It could be like just regular 30 million. It could even be in the 20 millions. I might be extremely wrong about this, but we'll find out. It did open up to like $4.3 million on Thursday, which is like double the amount that Split did, and Split opened to 40 million. So who knows? You know, it could do 50. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know shit. Look at me. I'm wearing my Donkey Kong shirt. I don't know shit. Oh, make sure. Yeah, make sure my Donkey Kong shirt look good. You know what I mean? Gotta look good. <laughs> anyway, number two, we're gonna do <laughs> Ready Player One. Yeah, that's right. I think it's gonna be number two. It will be a close battle, and <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Blockers does do a little bit better than people are indicating, especially me. But um, I think Ready Player One's gonna hold pretty well, and I think it's gonna make. 22.2 .2 mil in its second weekend which is less than 50 percent drop uh, i think that's mainly because you know actually let me uh let me just do something real quick just to make it easier for you guys i'm gonna put a no not strikeout i don't want that uh underline can you put a stroke on this 
I guess you can't. All right, I'll put it under a line so you can see it better. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> that don't help. That don't help at all. Wait, hold on. There's one, right? I just remembered. There is one somewhere. Outline? No. Outline? Is that good? Does that work? Yeah, that works. I just have to pick a black color. Does that work? Let me see. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I don't need that underline, too. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. I told you this is going to be a very... <clears throat> a very unorganized uh, <laughs> video. But anyway, yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. That's good. Yeah, that's right. I nailed that. Guys, I nailed it. Yeah. But anyway, I think um, Ready Player One's going to hold up better than what some people think. Uh, I think most people think it's going to drop more than 50%. At this point, it doesn't really even matter because in China, this movie is fucking killing it. Since it came out in China about a week ago, it has made like 140, like, three million dollars in china or like 47 i think that is insane that's a lot of money. that's way more than pacific rim that's way more than black panther so it's it's doing gangbusters there and I, I think it might even cross to around 250 to 300 million before it's all done in china alone over here it's gonna get around 120 to 140 million that's pretty damn good considering it's a movie that is definitely for a certain type of uh people i guess you know, just like Scott Pilgrim was. Uh, yeah, Scott Pilgrim was. There you go. I nailed the English language. That's just how I be. All right. Anyway, number three will be Blockers. I think Blockers is going to do well. And I think it's going to do well this weekend and actually stay in the top five for a couple of weeks. Uh, and I think it's going to make around 21.1 mil, which is pretty good. Again, I'm going for like specific, you know, like I'm putting points whatever in there too so <laughs> i don't know that's pretty good for a uh, movie that i'm not gonna lie i thought the trailer was awful I, th I thought it was really bad it has a good concept to it but i thought the trailer was bad but it's supposedly really good so i'm gonna check it out this weekend uh trailers do lie i mean when you look at the trailers for stuff like 21 and 22 jump street those were not very good but those movies were fucking awesome i'll rewatch those any day but anyway that's that's a pretty good hold. Now we're gonna have a pretty big drop here. We have number four, and I think number four is gonna be Black Panther. I think Pat, Black Panther is gonna stay in there and make, I'm gonna say, 7.9 mil in its eighth weekend, and it's still gonna be in the top five. So Black Panther, I believe, will have spent eight weeks in the top five. That's pretty damn boo. -boo. <laughs> that's pretty damn boo. -boo, -boo. <laughs> good job, Black Panther. Panther. That's just how I talk. I'm stupid. Um, so anyway, good job. Uh, great film. Anyway, next, Acrimony. I think Acrimony is going to make around in its second weekend. I'm going to say about 7.3 mil. Usually Tyler Perry movies drop pretty hard in its second weekend. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to say this one's not going to drop too hard. It'll be around 55, 60%. Usually they drop around 65%, I think. Uh, unless it's like Boo 2. I think Boo 2 held up well enough but anyway I, I think that's pretty good that's not bad you know i like a 55 percent drop uh for acrimony uh better than what it deserves oops i didn't mean to do that all right <laughs> i love that movie though yeah to be fair i actually really want people to watch that movie because it's hilarious uh thank you to everybody that enjoyed the review too that i did uh a lot of people did a lot of people didn't <laughs> a lot of people were like well actually not a lot i would say like a few people were like you just didn't get the movie you don't get you don't understand movies i'm like okay <laughs> okay not even to the part where i don't understand movies that's that's probably true but the just the insinuation that this movie you have to really like comprehend it to understand everything like you have to really like focus to understand every minute detail i'm like all right anyway i can only imagine it's gonna be number seven as i already spoiled right there um i think this movie is gonna freaking hold so well it's gonna be like black panther for white people <laughs> I guess when it comes to its holds because it's a, it's like dropping 30 even less percent every weekend i'm gonna say um i'm gonna say a 6.9 <laughs> million dollar weekend uh and that that's incredible like this movie might even cross 100 million if it holds in there like every weekend like it could do like greatest showman kind of like greatest showman like made like eight million its first weekend everybody's like oh, that's a bomb that's a bomb we're fucked and this is fox saying this we're fucked and then every weekend after that it would like make a little bit more and then maybe a little bit less but it would continue to keep making like eight nine ten eleven million dollars every weekend and then it just ended up making like 170 million dollars 
So, uh, not that this movie is going to do that, but I could see it holding kind of similarly, like not as well, but close. You know, it will always be a movie that people can watch, you know, you know, even if it's a few weeks old, people be like, okay, I'll see that movie now, you know, whatever. You know, it's an old people movie. That's for sure. Um, next is going to be Isle of Dogs. Which is opening up to around 500 and something theaters, which I'm so excited for because I can finally see this fucking movie. I was so excited for it, and it, for the last couple of weeks, it was never in my theaters. Uh, it is in my theaters this weekend. I'm probably going to see it on Sunday, but I'm going to try maybe tomorrow. I'm a little busy tomorrow, but I'm going to see if I can. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna say, uh, you know what? I'm going to be on the higher end. Most people are saying like four to five million. I'm going to say 5.8 mil, which I think is uh, not too bad considering what it is you know and i think like as it will open up more and more theaters i think uh it's gonna start doing way way better I, i've heard even like kids are enjoying this movie too which i'm really happy about because when it was like when um fantastic mr fox came out i know i know kids didn't really get it or liked it uh but isle of dogs i'm i'm hearing all kids are really enjoying it. not all kids but you know i'm sure there's one one dickhead kid that's like no nah, not as good as sherlock gnomes but whatever Speaking of Sherlock gnomes, <laughs> number eight is going to be Tomb Raider. No, I'm just kidding. It's Sherlock gnomes. <laughs> it's Sherlock gnomes. <sighs> I'm getting sick of seeing this fucking movie in this list. I, I Let me tell you, I am really sick of it. <laughs> it's only been like three weeks, but I am sick of seeing this movie there. I think it's going to make, to be honest, I don't really give a shit, but I think it's going to drop a little less, even though we have Isle of Dogs this weekend. And also, um, I guess, you know, Ray Player One is still kind of a kid's movie. I guess, not really, but I guess kids could see it. Um, but like kids specific, like just, just, just kids. That's Sherlock Gnomes for sure. I'm going to say just straight up 4 million. I'm going to say 4 million. It'll drop a little less than 50%. So. <clears throat> good for it i mean no not good for it it's, it it bombed completely but considering it had like a 60 million dollar budget i don't think it's even gonna make half that but you know what good for it <laughs> good well good for me uh, no sequel <laughs> that makes me happy but anyway next is gonna be pacific rim uprising in its third weekend dropping below sherlock gnomes that's embarrassing <clears throat> Hope, hopefully for its case or its sake uh it doesn't do that and hopefully it does better than Sherlock knows, but I don't think it will. I think it's going to make like 3.8 mil and it's, uh, in its third weekend, it made, it dropped 67% in its second weekend. So I can only assume this movie is going to keep dropping like that. So I'm going to say around a 62% drop this time to 3.8 million. Maybe it holds a little bit better. We can, we'll see because sometimes a movie like this, a blockbuster movie, yeah, I wouldn't say a $28 million opening is a blockbuster opening but whatever um a movie like this usually drops hard in its second weekend and then like holds up a little bit in its third and fourth ones but I, I just have a feeling this one's gonna drop hard so i think number nine will be pacific rim number 10 is going to be all right let me see if i can spell this right no uh chappy remember that movie chop 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 quiddick i have it written down here so i think that's how you sp spell it uh with 3.5 million it's opening up in like 1500 theaters but there's not too much hype for it but i can see this opening <sighs> maybe a little bit higher i mean it, i'm i'm getting hostiles feelings from this remember that movie hostiles with christian bale uh that movie everybody thought was gonna make like three four million dollars actually ended up making ten million dollars i could see this being like an old person movie like old people go see it but they still have, I can only imagine, they could go see that, but maybe a lot of people still already saw that movie, so they want to go see, you know, Ted Kennedy movie. You're like, I lived during that, I know who Ted Kennedy is. You know, so they go see t the Ted Kennedy movie. Um, I don't know, I could see that happening. But my number 11 is, I think it's called Miracle, I think it's The Miracle Season, right? The Miracle Season. Now, this could flip between 10 and or staying at 11 of course so it could swap places with chapa chapa i don't know whatever his name is chapa chapa man uh and I, i'm gonna say 3.4 million so it's really close so i could see that actually ending up edging out um Ch chop aquatic <laughs> i hope i'm saying that name right because that sounds that sounds wrong 
But anyway, that's my list right here. This is my list. There you go. I'm sticking to it. There you go. Look at it. It's beautiful, right? Um, so there you go. Uh, if you have any um, any predictions, please tell me them in the comments, of course. And uh, actually, before I go, I guess I should do this. I guess this is kind of like a thing now, uh, even though I've only done it once. But uh, might as well do this. Uh, I did that poll, of course, like I said. So I might as well show off the poll real quick and see what people said on the poll. Oh, it only makes sense, right? Because, you know, I asked people to tell me their opinions. So let's take a look at this. All right, let me open this or make this bigger. Of course, I have to click on it like 25 times. I'm never ready for this. Every time I think about it, it's too late. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so. Even though you can't see the whole thing here. Uh, there you go. Whatever. You, you don't need to see me. Um, how much do you think A Quiet Place will make this weekend? Uh, and 272 people voted, which is uh, incredible. Thank you for everybody that voted. Uh, and this is the, <laughs> this is the um, results right here. All right, so I said five to ten million, eleven percent. Okay, ten to twenty million, twenty-six percent. Okay, twenty to thirty million, eighteen percent. All right, thirty, forty, uh, twelve. And my last one, I always make a joke option as the last one. Uh, last one, it's it's not Black Panther, so who cares? <laughs> And that, that of course got the most but i would say like most people thought 10 to 20 million 26 percent uh let's see the comments too might as well look at the comments that's why i got five of them let's see <clears throat> i looked at a couple i think before so all right let's see uh all right well let me make it smaller i guess because you can't really read this whole thing here, here you don't need to see me there you go yeah i'll just cover myself up real quick all right, so Skull Hard Player says, not your conventional, oh, he voted for 10 to 20 million, not your conventional horror slash thriller movie that gets big thanks to high school sport jocks named Brad, okay, that take their girlfriends out to watch it, so it won't make that much money. Well, I think it's going to make, uh, like, double your prediction, at least. Um, Yosh Monster, he says, monster uh, movies that aren't connected to something these days usually don't make much, and he also said 10 to 20. I don't know, not not all, all the time. Like you have to remember, some of these movies, like the Annabelle movies, uh, or the um, Conjuring movies, they started out somewhere. Like the Conjuring wasn't connected to anything, and that still made like forty million dollars. So and you have to also remember, horror movies nowadays are huge. They are huge. Let me move this because it just looks like I'm flailing around to nobody. But um, so you have to consider that too. So. Yeah, that, horror movies are, are absolutely huge now. I mean, sure, Strangers 2 didn't do well, but who the fuck wanted to see Strangers 2? Uh, this this trailer for this movie, Quiet Place, got a lot of um, attention. Okay, Dan the Wolf, he's a longtime subscriber. Uh, it's not Black Panther, so who cares? It's a Wakandan place now. <laughs> not Quiet Place, it's a Wakandan place. All right, next. Collateral Trash Panda, okay. 30 to 40 million. Uh, but he said Black Panther was fine. Oh, okay. So I actually agree with what he said. 30 to 40 million. That's for sure. It might even go up to higher. Maybe, maybe around the 40 to 50 million. I could see that. And, and then Jack Kilpatrick. He had no hope for this. 5 to 10 million. But he also said Black Panther sucked dick. So you know what? You, you take what you get, you know? He, he doesn't have hope for um, A Quiet Place. But he also doesn't have hope for anything, it looks like. Which is fine. I, I, I totally feel him. Because I don't have hope either. But for anything, just anything in life. So anyway, there you go. That is my box office predictions for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, I'll be back on Sunday to talk about them box office results, baby. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, goodbye.